Shalom, or praise you, Hal Bashim, or Shah Basham Kakadash. The one is the apostles, salutes you both teaching the word in sincerity and in truth. And um, uh, here you got an article, so just come out. I think this one was today. And it says, Truth embargo. UFOs are suddenly all the talk in Washington. It says, after 75 years of taboo and ridicule, serious people can finally finally discuss the mysterious flying objects and even skeptics say that it's a good thing. Now, what I'm going to do... Now, there's, there's video clips, man, of... Um, there was one in the paper. You know, it's a famous one. I think it was in the 50s, 60s or whatever it was. And there were chariots flying right over the White House. The rare footage, um, but it was on the front of the paper, and then what had happened was, um, you know, when the air force went up to to see him, they disappeared and they were toying with him and things of that nature. Then they came back, um, and it was over the White House, a fleet of chariots, and um, so you know, Esau Edom has known about these chariots, you know, because they've been. Um, you know, uh, toying, get this off the screen, toying with Esau from then. All right, so let's get this. Um, to go into that right quick. Because um, in these vehicles are the angels now. There's been different video clips where they're kind of coming out and, 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 Saying that there, there was a video, there's a video from a movie, the the intruders where they they say yeah the chariot comes on the screen and they say it's the angels, and um, then you had this one individual recently said oh what if it's angels in there, because you know what it is, um, Amos nine and eight behold the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. Now, for Esau to make the movie, uh, the show Chariots of the Gods, show that the elites, the people that they knew about the chariots and angels being in these, these vehicles already. Amos 9 and 8, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. And that scripture says a lot, because the Heavenly Father is going to destroy, um, you know, the B system. And Babylon, which is America, um, you know, that great city Babylon you read about in Revelation 18, but he's not going to destroy, utterly destroy um, the Israelites because you're going to have an elect of Israel that's going to be delivered. So that scripture tells you a lot. A lot of people, a lot of nations, a lot of people are going to be zapped, man. Um, but here it says, What well, behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Now, the eyes of the Lord are his, his, his ships. Now, when you go and you look at these um, ships, they're always, uh, you know, scouting, you know, toying with, with Esau. And that's why he always says, oh, you know, he's, he's got what if questions about them. Are they advanced more than advanced? And well, well, that would obviously make sense because it's the angels of the Lord. And he, these Edomites know. But one thing that they do is um, keep people in a state of, 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 of being lost. Don't enlighten the, pop, the general public. Okay? The masses. <laughs> you know, I can't remember what that word masses means, but it means certain. But the general public, that you know, they're not there to be enlightened. Let's get, let's get some, yeah. Isaiah 25, 7, He will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. You know, and Esau's pretty much gone around the world, deceived the whole planet. That's why it says what? You know, we get these scriptures out all the time. 
Um, Job 9.24, it says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges of earth. And part of that is um, even when you depict angels. Like when you go to the Renaissance period, you go, yeah, let's see what this uh, search, this one brings up here. One second. cover of the faces of the judges you know the angels are messengers and um, uh, the judges are the Israelites but when you see the original icons they're all dark now Google kind of gives you this this one this these searches see there you go now I think that's the transfiguration okay you can see the dark. Oops. You can see that the dark man. Um, even this icon is dark of a guardian angel. You know, when they're decked out. You know, so. That's just what the bottom line is. You know, he covers the 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 everything over. You know, with his uh, with his Renaissance art, with his uh, Greek mythology, and and you know, if you've been watching the videos of the Israelites, you kind of know this stuff. You should know this because the angels are uh, are dark skinned. You know, mighty beings, and there's a lot of iconoclasm coming up on here. You know, but it is what it is. That's um, E for you. Because he just lies about everything. Okay, there's another, there's a dark icon there. Kind of, usually like depicting John the Baptist and uh, I'm not sure who's on that one. I think it is because it's crazy. Could be. Anyway, I'm going to go back to that and check some of that. Live auctioneers. <laughs> This is on the auctioning website. <laughs> but just to go back into the point, man, the angels of the Lord are, are dark skinned. And uh, he covereth the faces of the judges. So the Israelites, King David.